Hey everyone, Adam here. So today I actually wanted to show you a real tip and trick. Uh, I know the last few videos I've just been rambling on about things involving living simply and all this other jazz, but uh, today I actually want to give you a tip and trick, uh, and it actually involves one of my favorite drinks, which just happens to be coffee. Now the goal of this video is just to show you how you can simplify your coffee life, and of course there are pros and cons to everything, but um, I want to first talk about the two main ways people usually get their coffee. Uh, one is um, either just going to a coffee shop, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, whatever. Uh, this is fine. Uh, on occasion I will do this as well, especially if I'm pressed for time, but for the most part um, I really don't do this. One, uh, I feel like I can myself make a better cup of coffee. Um, this may not concern some people. Uh, and two, um, it it gets expensive after a while. Uh, I mean, if you're throwing away two bucks every day on coffee, um, we can do that much cheaper and a lot more efficiently. Now, the other byproduct of this uh, is that uh, a lot of people end up getting paper cups every day um, if they do this route as well. So this is also uh, slightly, you know, it's, it's better for the environment this way. But um, that actually wasn't my driving force in the beginning. It was just to find a cheaper, better cup of coffee. Now the other main way is the, uh, like a Keurig type device. Uh, Keurig has actually become very, very popular. Um, and ironically, the, the maker of the, or the inventor of uh, the Keurig, uh, has actually kind of, it sounds like he almost has regrets of designing this device. Uh, one of the things that I've never been a big fan of with the Keurig uh, when it first came out uh, was just the wastefulness of it. I mean, you basically have to buy the little K-cups. Um, they're not biodegradable. They're horrible for the environment. And, you know, they, they add up. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how many you go through. Uh, on top of that, uh, the whole system is, is pretty expensive for the K-cups. Um, I can definitely make a better cup of coffee. Uh, one of the problems I have with the with the K cups is you really don't get to pick your bean, right? Like I can go to a local roaster and get a really fresh, just roasted coffee, uh, but I really can't use that with the with the Keurig system. Now I do know that they have the uh, the little cups that you can manually put in your own beans or grounds rather, but uh, again I don't. Uh, uh, it's it's not easy to clean. Uh, you still have to buy the expensive Keurig system, and with the Keurig 2.0 or whatever they're calling it, uh, uh, now there's there's they're, they're trying to get rid of. You have to use their special K cups that are licensed. So uh, if you want to avoid all of that, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the tools that you need uh, to make a nice uh, cheap cup of coffee with a very low uh, cost. And on the plus side, um, it's very, very uh, uh, easy to get into, and uh, it makes uh, some great coffee. Here I am in the kitchen, and the only device you need to make exceptional coffee is this. It's a, uh, it's basically just a drip cup. Um, it's, this one I think was $9. Um, I know they make a whole bunch of them. Um, anywhere from like probably five bucks all the way up to like 30 bucks, maybe even more. Um, but again, uh, this is just a uh, ceramic drip cup. Um, I recommend the ceramic. Um, they do make plastic ones that are probably cheaper, but uh, first of all, I don't want the plastic to go into the coffee. And second of all, um, uh, I might be worried a little bit about uh, BPA. I don't want that leaching into my coffee. So with the ceramic, you don't have to worry about uh, any of that. And uh, this particular one was, as I said, nine dollars. So. That's it. That's all you need. Of course, you need the uh, coffee beans, but um, um, yeah, that's that's it. It makes a fantastic uh, one cup of coffee. Now, of course, um, in order for this to work, you will also need the coffee filters. Um, I actually uh, I like these coffee filters because they're uh, you can actually compost them, so they're biodegradable, uh, which is kind of nice for the coffee filter. But uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all you need. Um, right here, uh, nine dollars plus an additional dollar for the coffee filter, ten dollars, and you're on your way to making awesome coffee. Now, if you really want to enhance the coffee, um, so basically, when you get your grinds, you can actually have everything be uh, ground at the store, um, so uh, uh, or the coffee shop. Um, they'll grind them right there. However, um, if you want to take up your coffee making up to the next notch. Um, I have this uh, coffee grinder. Now, 
They make a whole bunch of different coffee grinders. You can get the Whirly Blade ones, or uh, you can get the um, um, the, bur uh, the Burr Grinder. Um, this is actually a Burr Grinder. Um, this one uh, happens to be a hand uh, crank. Uh, it was $30. This thing is awesome. Um, I, a long, long time ago, I had an electric one, uh, like an electric grinder. The problem with that, it was ridiculously hard to, uh, to clean. Um, it just wasn't uh, nearly as nice as this. And then um, after like three years, the motor burnt out. Uh, this one, as long as my hand can crank, um, I am going to have coffee beans. So uh, this was $30 off Amazon. Again, th you don't need this. Um, this is just added extra. And I always grind my coffee beans right before uh, I'm about to brew them. So that gives the, uh, the best flavor. Now again, this is uh, all advanced uh, stuff, um, but uh, I also um, have this little scale. Uh, this is great for weighing out the coffee beans. Um, next video I'm actually going to make the coffee but uh, it's pretty much uh, for every ounce of water I use 1.6 grams of, of coffee bean um, when I weigh it out. Now I do not like anything that serves really one purpose uh, minus the grinder here. Um, the scale I use quite frequently to, to weigh out uh, anything when I'm cooking. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of weighing out stuff uh, when you are cooking or doing anything. So, um, uh, so this scale is well uh, worth it for me. I think, again, this was like $10 off Amazon. It's a little digital scale. Uh, it's fantastic. Now, this is the one item that um, I regret. Um, I bought this before I was uh, uh, planning on uh, you know, really thinking about what I was buying and, and being a little bit more uh, simple. Uh, in my uh, routines, um, but what it is is a, it's an electric kettle. Um, so, you know, again, this you definitely don't need to make coffee. Um, what I would do, like if this ever went, the only reason I keep this around is because it works, it's functional, it is convenient, um, but if it ever uh, uh, happened to uh, um, burn out or stop working, I definitely would not replace it. What I would use instead would be a little pan like this. I would just pour my water in this, boil it or get it close to boiling on the stove, and that's it. Just pour it in. Now, real coffee people would probably scoff at this because they actually use special kettles that are made to design for intricate pouring of water. Uh, I mean, look, I'm really into coffee, but I'm not going to take it to that extreme because you know, I just, for me, I just don't want to take up more counter space and, and have uh, uh, just like one, you know, just having a special uh, pour of water for my coffee. So it's just something I choose. But uh, if I was even more into coffee, yeah, it may be worth the investment kind of thing. But again, out of all of the equipment here to make delicious coffee that's great for the environment, that's fairly cheap, and you can get any uh, beans and style uh, of coffee you want, happens to just be this. That's all you need. You know, if, if you want, just get your, uh, um, uh, your coffee ground at the shop. Um, I won't judge too harshly. And uh, the filters, that's it. Oh, and of course, water and a heat source. That's it, you know. Uh, again, basically 10 bucks for this system versus the Keurig where you gotta buy the K-cups all the time. Um, or, you know, uh, going to the, uh, to the store, to Dunkin' Donuts, you know, all that stuff adds up. So, uh, as I said, next video, um, we'll actually, uh, uh, we'll make the coffee. Um, I, uh, this video is getting kind of long, so we'll do that next video. Well, that's about it for the tools used to make a great cup of coffee. Um, if you are interested on how I make my coffee, uh, that stay tuned for the next video. Um, again, if you're not really a coffee drinker or uh, you do not uh, like normal coffee, and what I mean by that is uh, the espresso and all that stuff, if that's more your style, sorry uh, about the video. But uh, yeah, if, if you're just a straight up coffee drinker, uh, I definitely uh, recommend uh, something very basic and very simple like this. Um, hey, what do you got to lose? It's like nine dollars to invest into it so give it a try well that's about it for this video uh thanks for watching and uh hopefully you found the video helpful